What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bad Piston. So, uh, just an update on why I haven't uploaded anything on the channel. It's because right now I'm currently working on the car. Now, I said I was gonna just post uh, races on the channel, but uh, I don't know, I feel like a little of the things that I'm doing might help you guys out. So I'll give you, an, uh, keep you, give you guys an update on what I'm doing. And uh, so this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do, uh, so I'm changing my, my fuel pump. So I'm adding the CO1 fuel pump and uh, because I'm getting uh, my head supported right now and a few other things. And I'm running E85, so I needed the CO1 pump. So I'm gonna show you how to do the fuel uh, access door, I believe it's called. I know there's a videos out there, but I'll, I'll just show you a little bit how I, I did it, so yeah. So just an update on the car, so as you guys can see right now, it's kind of dark, but uh, I don't have heads, nothing, you know. Uh, I just sent it to GPI. I actually had them already back uh to arizona so i live in mexico so i can't really ship they can't ship them over here and i wouldn't because i probably never, will never got them so i'm waiting on that and a few other parts like my holly high ram uh mindful the uh throttle body and uh, a few other things gaskets and stuff so that that's the only thing i'm waiting for so as soon as i get those on my friend's house in, in arizona i'll go and make the trip and also i paint the calipers that's why but uh a little bolt on the brake line that connects from the brake line to the the actual uh caliper kind of got messed up so i had to reorder it so yeah that's why i have all that stuff because i was i was bleeding the the lines and i noticed that so but yeah but today while i'm waiting and those that's those are the little things that i've been doing to the car now it looks dark but I already took out the, the rear seat part of it. So I'm gonna get my cell phone because I have a, a light with that and I'm charging my, my other light so you guys can see the process. So what I'm gonna do is actually, instead of reusing that and rewelding or whatever, I'm at, I bought this from uh, Summer Racing. So I think it's like 30 bucks or something. So really neat. It's just gonna help me in the future or if I ever sell the car, help the next guy out. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cut the hole seven by seven, add this and use rivets to hold it. So yeah, I'll show you guys the process. So just a little uh, note, be careful when cutting this uh, because the tank is super, super uh, almost on against the, the little, you know, metal piece. So be careful in cutting wire or the tank. So like I said, this process is so you don't drop the tank. You don't have to drop everything uh, from the bottom. I believe you, you have to you have to do a lot. So this is kind of like a shortcut. So. All right, guys. So I kind of estimated the cut. So seven by seven. So I'm going to get myself to the edge of this side. Cut it all the way to here. So I want to leave a little bit of space so I can put the uh, the rivets on it. So we'll we'll, we'll see how if 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 I need to make uh, any adjustments. But uh, this one's this I will call them ribs kind of. I'm gonna have to flatten them out so I can put the access door on it. Right, guys so here's the cut here's the piece i cut uh, so the hole is seven by seven you can make it a little bigger but uh i just want to make sure it's not over uh the door so i can still use it so seven, seven by seven i think it's fine so all you gotta do is just unplug this but before i'm gonna clean this up so dusty so i don't want this to be uh when I remove it to fall on the on the gas tank. So I'm gonna clean it up real quick, remove these two switches. Uh, this is like a lock. So one thing, I mean, this is might not be the best idea to use this tool because you know, it, it throws uh, sparks all over the place. So it's not the safest way I know, so don't do it. Uh, I don't have just any other tools. There's many tools out there you can use even uh, uh, you can use the the pliers 
I mean, yeah, you can use the other tools. There's tools especially to cut this, and uh, they won't. They don't spark like this. The grinder does. But uh, thank God nothing happened. Yeah, it's not the smartest thing to do, so don't do it, guys. I'll try to use something else. But anyways, thank God nothing happened. Everything is good, so we just continue.